Hi there, so this is my personal experience and review of the Giant Tex portable automatic washing machine that I purchased for my RV. Um, I did have to purchase two additional pieces, adapters, to connect to the faucet and the hose. And I also didn't use the hose that came with it, I purchased a separate one. I'm going to post some links below. So you'll take the straight end and you'll put in the larger adapter, which I believe is for a garden hose. And then you're going to put in a second adapter, which is to attach to the faucet. All right, so then you'll take the diffuser off of the standard RV faucet and attach the adapters just hand tightening them until they're snug but you won't want to over tighten them as you could strip the threads and then you'll take your hose and you're going to attach that again just hand tightening enough that it's snug and you're secure that it's not going to leak but not over tightening Okay, so then I laid it on its side and I'm now going to put the bottom plate on that came with it in the bottom of the box. There's a diagram on there to help you attach it with the eight screws provided and line up the holes just to be sure. And I just put in the eight screws without tightening them just to get it in place. Now I'm going to go around and hand tighten each one. Again, not over tightening, just making sure they're snug. Then I'm going to attach the elbow piece to the back of the washer. So you want to make sure that it's flush before tightening. So you can see I didn't do that the first time here. making sure it's flush and then tightening again until it's snug. You don't want to strip that piece. Right, and then gently turn on your water, increasing the pressure, making sure there's no leaks, that everything looks good. I'm using a hair clip because the piece that's supposed to hang over will not do it without slipping out. So I turned it on. UV light, sanitation light is working. Everything looks good. I'm going to pick the full cycle with the highest water setting. I'm going to add my soap and let that dissolve in there before I add the clothes. promoting anything, I'm just <laughs> giving my experience. <laughs> Alright, and so I've loaded a pair of sweatpants, two t-shirts, some socks, and a tea towel in there. I'm just going to let it do its thing. It's a soft closed lid, so it doesn't bang. And it's agitating the clothes. Seems to be circulating them quite well. Again, it's a very quiet machine. from the bottom and agitating them to the top, which is exactly what I wanted. Right, 
so it's going to drain now and my dog is interested in the noise that it's making. I'm just going to check and make sure it's stable and level before it enters the spin cycle. So here it is draining. Now the water is discolored uh, partially because of the sink mat that I have in there, which is also causing it from draining as well as it should down the RV drain. Um, but also because it's done a really good job of removing the dirt from the clothes. Uh, so the first time that I ever used this, it seemed to pause a couple of times during the agitation cycle. And I'm not sure if this is like the soaking process, uh, but it hasn't done it consequently. So I don't know if this load was just especially dirty. <laughs> done the drain, now it's about to enter the spin cycle. Alright, so if I open the lid during the spin cycle, it does stop spinning. Um, it's not shaking the trailer. And it is quite quiet. All right, so it's going to fill up again for two more rinse and spin cycles. Uh, the whole cycle took about 45 minutes and I used cold water. Right, so again, draining before the spin cycle. You can see the water is much more clear this time. And this is the end of the cycle here. It gave me a beep as an indication it was done. And it's done a really great job of wringing out these clothes, including this t-shirt. Alright, so now I'm just going to remove the lint filter just by pinching the clip and pulling it out. And I know it's working because there's some dog hair in there. And it, that's about how much clothes. So I'm happy with this purchase, so I'm now going to remove the plastic from it don't have to send it back and I can throw away the carton it came in because I don't plan on moving it from the RV. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have any questions please post them in the comments below. I'm going to post the links to the products that I purchased and thank you so much for watching.